Welcome to my daily Raji and Ancient Epic series, everybody. Before we start, I'd appreciate you guys watching this through and then letting me know your thoughts in the comment section so I can improve and grow my small channel. And now on to today's episode. Her love strengthens her purpose. Let's see, do we have anything to explore here? No, it doesn't look like it. Let's get upstairs. Lovely environments, by the way. This looks like an impressive palace. Oh, we definitely... Before I go there, that's obviously the way to go. Let me explore the other way. Maybe we can find some... Uh, some bonus points or secrets. Oh, there's actually another... Another way over here? Or is that the same thing? Yeah, maybe I did a full circle. Oh, damn it. <laughs> Try that again. Pretty agile. This woman. Nice. So let's see. More info from Bravo. Let's see. So Vishnu is the preserver god. Okay, which means she protects the universe from being destroyed and keeps it going. Oh, so that's, uh, yeah, Vishnu kind of sounded important. But more like, you know, like an, um, like a very old god or something. So I'm guessing that's a very fitting role. Protector of the universe, Vishnu. See, I love this game for that. I'm gonna remember some of this stuff. Not all of it, probably, but still. <laughs> oh, there's a guy that's almost done there. Let's quickly dispose of these two. Oh, jeez, that got me good. Nice. Wow. These enemies are relentless. Like, these are very mobile enemies are like the worst for me. Whatever they want from you, whatever stands in my way, I am coming for you, little brother. They will not stop me. I won't let them hurt you, I swear. All right, and Brahma is the creator god in Hinduism. Right, and Shiva Madeva is the destroyer. Really? Shiva is the destroyer? Kind of felt like Shiva was a good god. She's a bad god? All right. Or maybe I should not put it in uh, such layman terms, I guess. Like good and bad maybe is not the right way to think about it. I'm guessing like in Greek mythology. I bet. I don't know, but I bet like uh, in Indian lore as well. Probably there is not exactly... And meaning to good and bad. Probably there's shades of grey, right? Let's see. Hey Chris! Welcome for the welcome to the stream, buddy. Dropping in for 15 minutes. Stay as long as you'd like, man. Yes, we are talking extensively about Hindu mythology right now. It's not the right way to go, I think. <laughs> yes, I do have Rambo educating me a lot. <laughs> Currently. I love this game. I'm gonna be much more knowledgeable about Hindu traditions when I'm done with this, I think. Oh, we do have poles here. Let's use them. Yeah, that's what, that was the wrong attack. <laughs> Yeah, see, keep stunning him and then attack. That's a 
very effective tactic. Alright, so wow. Lots of enemies. Let's keep it going. Oh Jesus, these guys have some very long range to their attacks. We are losing quite a bit of health here. That guy keeps jumping around like crazy. Oh, jeez. Right, let's actually use simple attacks with this guy. That's surprisingly an effective strategy. Should use these more often. Alright, we are done. Let's read some chat now. Alright, so Chris says, One Hindu god Krishna said about morality that every person has a lens which alters his vision on good and bad. Interesting. And Kali is the evil god. Kali is evil? Okay, and according to Hindu mythology, we are currently living in Kali Yuga, also known as the Dark Ages. Really? So this now, right now, is considered the Dark Ages? Oh lord, okay. And Krishna is another form of Vishnu, says Rambo. <laughs> yeah, I am pretty confused. <laughs> Thank you very much, guys. <laughs> well, end of the day, each god have many forms and different names. Am I correct to assume that every god is not completely good or completely bad, that they do have, uh, you know, like shades of uh, goodness and badness in them? I don't know, kind of feels like it. Now, okay, did I get this wrong? Oh, there you go. All right, so that is, uh, the, is this Durga? Now remember, Bhai, whatever comes to us, Ma Durga will watch over us. Okay, so I got this right. Nice. Always been one of yours. She's correct. You think too much of this one. She is important. She holds hope for the mortals of the world. Of course I will watch over her. Nice. So I'm kind of proud that I'm starting to get the names correct. <laughs> Alright, let's keep going. It is strange, is it not? that a place of such beauty and intricate design should have been created as a bastion of war? War is the means they are given to change the world. They only give it the respect that it is due. War is not the only way. Right, so before I go there, let's explore on the other side. Oh, interesting what Chris is saying there. So in order to go to heaven, you need to be a human being, but gods, they do not live in, uh, they do not live there, in heaven? Like in Greek mythology, gods already live in heaven, and you have to, uh, kind of earn your place to go there. So I'm guessing we spotted a significant difference. So are gods like only um, only powerful beings? Are they not like the uh, controllers of the world? Are they not like the uh, I don't know the owners to, of heaven? I don't know how to put it, but uh, for example, in uh, Greek mythology, heaven does belong to the gods, or that version of heaven at least, of the Dodecathon as we call it. 
Okay, I don't think we can go this way. There, it was Golu. Why did the demons want him? Just summoned a dark mandala, a portal to another place. Raji rushed to stop them. But the demon chieftain blocked her path. And suddenly Golu was gone. Which weapons? Alright, uh, this is one of these bosses that I have to do ranged attacks against. I think. You can kind of see there is a pattern here. So let's keep at it like this. I'm not going near this guy. The bigger they are, the faster they fall. Okay, what's this now? Okay, let's not get very near that. Oh man, can I dodge that? Can I get inside that? Because he's kind of got me cornered now. Yeah, I'm thinking I have to get inside that circle. Let's get on the other side, actually. Let's get outside this. <laughs> I'm gonna cheese this fight. I'm gonna try and defeat him easily. By cheating a bit. Yes, there you go. Wow. That was a lot of ranged fighting. And we're done. Nice. <laughs> The demon defeated, the children rushed to thank Raji. But the stone had been weakened by the dark mandala.
perhaps Raji was about to die. Perhaps she had failed. Then the mystics came. They took Raji's body and they carried it away. As Raji drifted, a vision came to her. Who was that with her brother? What did they want? Well, nothing good, I bet. She awoke on the boat, and in the far distance, she could see a city. Great kings of the past had fashioned it, and had given their lives for it. But now the inhabitants were enthralled to a vast, lurking shadow stripped of their own will. The guardians blessed Raji, for she was the only hope for these people. And that's the end of this episode then. If you enjoyed it, remember to press the like button to help my channel out and definitely let me know your thoughts in the comments. To watch the next one, you can find a playlist link in the description of this video. And if you want to receive a notification for every new episode, make sure to click the subscribe and bell buttons right below this video. Thanks again guys, see you in tomorrow's episode.